Hello everybody, and today we're going to be looking at some very simple movement code. So to start off with, I have a simple square little sprite. I have um, an object player, and I have this set up in a room. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have this little square moving to wherever the mouse is. More specifically, wherever the mouse clicks. So, how are we going to go about doing this? Well, first we're going to want to add a mouse global global left pressed event. And global means that this mouse is being clicked anywhere on the entire screen. If it was just left pressed, then it would mean that it was being clicked on the actual sprite of the object. And we're also going to want to have a create event. So we're going to want to have xx equals, we can just set that to negative 1, and yy equals negative 1. So, wherever the uh, mouse press is where this is going to be. And then we have these variables for the mouse's location that we can just use. So we can just set those. So it's pretty simple, and all we really need to do beyond this is move towards point xxyy via speed and then for us that speed can equal one okay now let's see how this works out so wherever I click it's moving towards we'll want to increase this a little bit and if you were watching right at the start, it's going up towards the top left corner. Because we're setting those points to negative 1, negative 1. But let's change this. Let's add an enumerator. Mouse. And then we can do none. And then we can just set this to mouse.none. Which means that there's no mouse spot mouse dot none okay now in the step event what we're going to want to do is we're going to be wanting to check if if f if xx does not equal mouse dot none and yy does not equal mouse dot none okay and then for else we're going to want to say speed equals zero. So then it will completely stop moving. Once we do this, it will not be moving at all. But now that I clicked here, it will be moving. And as you can see, it just starts to move back and forth. So what we can do is check to see if it's very close. If um, distance to point xxyy is less than speed plus 2. Now the reason I'm doing this is, so what this is saying really, is that the distance to the point where it wants to go, and if this distance is less than our speed plus 2, so slightly more than our speed, then we'll want to stop moving. We'll just want xx to equal mouse.none and yy to equal mouse.none. So now if we play this, it should work out just fine. I press there, it stops. I press here, it stops. So there you go, a very simple movement code. Thanks for watching.